Hey everybody, welcome to the 1804 show. I'm your host, Dollar Will. Coming back with y'all with another episode. Back to back day. You know, we doing it, we popping. You know, like I said, sorry. No music today. But we have a serious, serious discussion, serious topic. So we finna interview somebody. So nobody can say I'll be having a woman on here because I do. <laughs> So we just waiting for my guest to come into the live. You know, get these creative juices flowing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I saw her status and everything. And I was like, you know what? Let's talk about this. So we finna talk about it, people. We finna talk about it. Because we need to talk about it. So it's going down. And I really enjoy my last video review and everything oh yeah i'm gonna be renewing movies too so that's coming up too you know you know practicing for youtube in a youtube community so i will be taking the show to youtube eventually but right now you know i love you guys so i'm gonna be getting your attention so but we're but we finna have a good discussion tonight just waiting for her to come to the to the um, broadcast. Okay, here she is. Woo! <laughs> What's up? Welcome to the show. What's up? Oh, nothing. My hair looks a mess, y'all. Yeah, I was, man, I was like, any minute now. <laughs> I'm just playing. No, I didn't. No, listen. I had definitely told you. I'm like, dang, I know you said 8 o'clock, so let me have it together. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, we here. Okay, well, well, let's discuss your status, because it really moved me. So I had to get you on here to talk about it. So what you want to know about it? What would I say? I mean, you know, it was just, you know, very quite blatant to what you said about we need to normalize. Norm normalize. Normalize. Yeah. We need to normalize. Normalize. Uplifting black men. Absolutely. As we should. So when I say that, I just, when I say we need to normalize uplifting black men, it's because it's not normalized in today's world. You get a lot of uh, people that put, and the sisters might get mad at me for this, but a lot of us, we put our black men down instead of uplifting them. It's just like that meme. You think that meme that's been going around and it's um, a man and it's a man and a mama yelling at him and telling him he cry too much and he got to be strong. And then it's another man with a woman telling her, why don't you, uh, asking a man, why don't you tell me how you feel? Mm -hmm. It's like that for me a lot of people a lot of women you know they they degrade these black men that's that's first and foremost they degrade them and it's different i can't speak for everybody i can only speak for me you know but i feel like we need to start uplifting them man i'm trying to keep myself together you know this has been a long time since i heard you know someone finally understanding the 
the programming and the brainwashing that we was subjected to as a youth. Cause me as a black man, um, a lot of women that I have came across because I'm always expressing myself. I'm always, you know, showing my emotional side because of the fact that like, you know, we have feelings too, you know, we have a heart, but it's just so many women is not used to seeing a masculine man express his feelings and I'm gonna be honest with you. A lot of a lot of women they have good men and they don't know how to they don't know how to appreciate that. You get what I'm saying? Like it's a society is the problem if you ask me. I'm gonna be honest with you. I feel like society today has messed up so many things and it really has torn our generation apart. I, I really mean that because it's a lot of women today they act like it's normal to want to feel love. If you get what I'm saying, it's normal to want to be married one day. It's normal to want um, attention from your spouse or the opposite, you know what I'm saying, from your, your significant other. That th Those are things that's normal. They walk around today like, I don't need no man. I got this by myself. I don't need to be, like, sis. It's okay to be self-sufficient. I'm not saying that you 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 know you cannot be self-sufficient. What I'm saying is, if a woman are walking around here today saying she don't want this, she don't want that. I don't know a woman around here who don't want to be loved. You get what I'm saying? Like, we all want to be loved, but at the same time, you got to give it too. Absolutely. You got to give love. That's different. If I got me a man, my man going to work every day, you know, it'd be the little things that put a smile on these men's face. These women, I'm a woman myself. You Don't get me wrong. But at the end of the day, we are not 100% innocent in this. We not. We aren't. You got to a man that he going to work every day. This man shouldn't have to be, he working. Why is he eating frozen lunches and he working? Why is he going to the vending machine ordering food out the vending machine and you wonder why the home girl at the plant is something trying to talk to him. you get what i'm saying like i know if i got a man do how many people the thing they ideal of love is so it's so different for me if i'm with a man and i'm in love with my man how many people can say they just they are married and they in love and people say oh i pray for my person people always say they pray for you how many people have actually sat down and prayed with you though Especially when you got a man that's taking penitentiary chances. I already know if I got a man, the odds is against these black men before they feet even hit the motherfucking pavement. Do you hear me? The odds is against them. When I tell people I'm I'm not um anti white or Asian or nothing like that, but I'm very pro black. And I always say that, and, I, and yes, I do have a, a mixed daughter, so I don't want anybody to feel like I'm contradicting myself. What I'm saying now is, if I was to ever get married, if I was to ever do that, I would, I'm not gonna say I, I don't find the opposite, um, the opposite race attractive. I'm just saying like, I, I love black love. I love black men. That's just me. It's something that a black, it's something about a black man that a black woman can relate to. You gotta, you gotta understand that. Like before these men feet even hit the pavement, the odds is already against them, already against them. And then when you gotta come home and feel like you got a woman who do not understand that you, sometimes you gotta learn how to be they peace at the same time. And it go both ways, but you gotta be, be that man peace. Don't, don't, don't nobody wanna hear about the same shit all the time. You get what I'm saying? Like, you want to have a long day at work, a motherfucker want to nag about different females, motherfuckers want to nag about other things. Like, even with these men, they go to the penitentiary, they have different things going on. It's, it's so much shit. And it's like, at the same time, instead of talking to these men, trying to figure it out, or asking them about counseling or different things, like, the first thing they do is degrade these men. That shit is unacceptable. Ain't nothing wrong. If you see a brother out here trying, what's wrong with saying, you're doing a good job, King. Keep on pushing. What's wrong with giving words of uh, wisdom, encouragement? If you see somebody doing something wrong, say, I don't think you should do it like that, but you can do it like this. You know, ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. And that shit is, is mind-boggling. Because at the end of the day, I have two sons who are going to grow up to be men. And I will hope that they get with a woman that will understand that, because mom ain't going to be around forever. No matter how good you are, you could be a black man. And no matter, you can have all the degrees in the world. You can be 
a okay and you could just be a regular i mean a black successful man but you put on a monkey suit and drive in the car listening to a certain song you gonna get pulled out not even just a certain song just you know getting pulled over like you could just look a certain way and they fucking with you you can be highly um what is the word it, it is that i'm looking for when you go um go fill out for a job or whatever it's on the tip of my tongue but you know you can have all the credentials for a job and you go to the job and the job will overlook you just because of you know who you are or how you present yourself to be just because you're black and you not the person that they you know they looking for how many times have black men went with to go get jobs that they were fully capable of getting but because they had dreadlocks they figured oh this man is not equipped for the job or that's not what we looking for that shit's sad yeah. that shit is sad and i feel like women need to start back speaking life into their men if my man came home you know and you had to we need to start giving what we expect in return you get what i'm saying like we often say what we want in the man what we look for in the man i feel like we need to start giving that back out so after a long day of work you don't want to come home you want to be at peace your man wants to be at peace too he want to be at peace he wants you to be his turn up in his sanctuary as well stop calling that man phone when he gone it, he go out with the homeboys you thinking it's a bitch every time he goes somewhere no sometimes they just want to chill give a nigga a chance to miss you these are things we don't talk about that we need to start opening up and talking about it breaking generational curses they need to start talking about that it's sad. You don't know what people have been through. Just speak life into your man. That's all I'm saying. Because if I love my, I ain't going to say I'm praying for him, but I'm going to pray with him. Come on, we finna hold hands. We finna pray together. You don't see people praying together no more. They act like it's a problem to pray together. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Pray for your man. Baby, that's what's going to keep them safe. But that's just me. I don't got the answer. I don't got the Patty Patty secret formula for half of this shit. I'm just saying how I am. You know who I am and how I feel. So I'm just keeping it real, Rich. Hey, for real. I mean, I, I I love what you said about allow a person to miss you. Because when a person see you all the time, it takes away the mystique. It takes away the just the chance of you know, learning more about you and because 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 a lot of us men, because a lot of women think because we go MIA and everything, they think we up to no good. Like we go through things, too. So a lot of times we need to recharge. That man probably going through something that's hard to even come home and tell his wife. For example, you know, um, I was in a situation with some with I was dating someone before and they had got fired from their job and didn't know how to, you know, tell me that they got fired from their job. Like, stuff like that. Men have pride. You know what I'm saying? The certain shit kill their pride and they don't want to let you know. You need to do, women have to do a better job of letting them know it's going to be okay. And we're going to get through this shit together. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But for some reason, everybody want to be a pity girl. It's okay to have you little hot girl summer and shit. I ain't taking that away from you. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying, like, you have to speak life into these men. Yes. Very much so. Give your spouse a chance to miss you. I believe in that. I, I stand on that. I mean, if y'all under each other all day, y'all gonna get to arguing over dumb shit. Like, passing each other to catch up and shit. You know, unnecessary <laughs> shit. Like, <laughs> for real. You ever seen a motherfucker? They just be with each other all day. It's the slightest thing they do. It pisses you off. You know what I'm saying? Because you just aggravated, irritated. Like, give each other a chance to miss each other. You want to go to beat up and watch the game with the boys. You know what I'm saying? To have a drink. I ain't finna blow your phone up all damn day asking where you at, what you doing, and who all around, and, and you know, nagging and shit. No, if anything, you know, when that nigga come home, you make sure you got you a nice little lingerie set on or something. Go for what you know. Simple. That man probably having a hard time, you know, getting a job. Motivate him, help him, you know. They go get you a job, you know, whatever, whatever. A, B, C, and D. Motivate these niggas to get out these streets. And I agree. I agree because, you know, here's the thing. It's just, you know, they always talk about 
when you help a man get on his feet, then when that man gets on his feet, he may do a 180. But women do that too. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of times it's just when a woman get herself established, but a lot of people forget them humble be humble beginnings when they was on food stamps, when they was on Section A, when they was going to work first, you know. And I'm saying, like, we all need help. A lot of us ain't get to this point without help, you know. And it's just a lot of people forget where they came from. So what you think about that? I just made a statement about this the other day. I feel like uh, men, they outside their tax bracket all the time. But women very seldom, they outside their tax bracket. And I feel like I asked that question because I have successful friends. And some of my friends feel like they not dating a man if a man don't have more than what they have. And then I have friends that feel like it's okay because their tax bracket is so high, it's kind of, you know, it's impossible for a per, a, you know, a person that's working a nine to five to get there. I mean, I understand all that. Me personally, I can't, like I say, I can't speak for nobody else. I can only speak for me. And I remember where I came from. See, I expect from a man is for him to be exactly just that, a man. At the end of the day, that's all I'm expecting. Um, as far as a lot of women forgetting where they came from, you you are very much so right. But I think um, in that defense, I feel like some men expect you don't forget where you came from. You shouldn't forget where you came from. Some people do. You shouldn't forget where you came from. You should just want more. And you should just try to do better. That's how I feel. Oh, absolutely. Because I mean, you should you should want more. You should try to do better. You should try to mold that person into becoming. I'm not gonna say becoming what you want them to become, but into joining you. You know, some people should step and try to introduce them to the other side. For example, like if I'm an entrepreneur and I may have a man who, who isn't an entrepreneur, he may work a job. He don't know what it feels like to be an entrepreneur. Okay, well then try to, you know, introduce him to it. And then maybe he get a taste of it. He may like it. Or maybe a working a, a job is for him. As long as the outcome is income, I don't see what the argument is about. But that's just me. Everybody have different views and different takes on the situation. Yeah, it just, you know, a lot of times it comes to, like, the slavery um, mentality with with us men because it's like, you know, how much are we worth? Because it's like a lot of times you get, like, the nice guy, but he may not have a car or he may not have a crib or, but he but he's, you know, going to school. He's trying to become a doctor. Like, I have seen girls call him lame. But we'll go with like a broke nigga, but he got but he got a car, but he don't got no crib. And he, he smokes all the time. He has no ambition. He has no intelligence. But they will have multiple babies by this nigga. So is this really about just which which what's familiar to you? You know what I'm saying? And and I'm not saying that, you know, us dudes don't do the same thing, but I'm just saying, like, it's just a lot of people just go for the highest bidder, you know, just auction off. It's like an auction, per se. I'm going to tell you something. Um, as far as, now, we do got to be realistic here. I'm 30 years old. I'm a one, when I date somebody, there's nothing wrong with wanting to date somebody that comes with the same things that you have, because we are too old to be going backwards. If we was 19, 20 years old and you said, I'm going to school to be a doctor, understandable. You may not have it all together. At 30 years old, it's a no for me. I'm going to have to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying, like, I can't even sugarcoat it. It's a no. It's a no. Because we too old. And for people to, be, I understand you can lose it all, but you ain't never been a hustler if you ain't, you know, lost it all and got it all back. Absolutely. That's the key thing. Like, it, you can lose it at any given time. You just gotta know how to get all that shit back. It's just it. That's what comes with. That's what comes with it. But I'm not. I'm too old to be dating somebody who, you know, um, you. I want you to have the same things that I have, and there's nothing wrong with that. And you should want the same thing when you date. And when you dating, you should look for the same qualities in a woman. 
Did you ask if I read having your own house, having your own car, have, you know, having your own job? Those are the three basics that you should have. We too old for that. Like, I'm I'm not going to say um, if I date somebody or whatever uh, in that, on that note, like, no, I'm not giving you no chances on that. Because if you, I feel like me personally, if I'm not where I want to be in life, I'm not dating. If you ain't got th those three basic things, you, chances are you shouldn't be dating. I'm just being real. Like, you need to take that time to work out, work on yourself. And then you could come back and you could try it again. But, no, I, I'm just not going to do it. I'm not. Now, if you got fired from your job or something, maybe you need, you know, you got to go look for employment. Yeah, but that's one thing or whatever. But, no, mm -mm. not if you just, oh, I'm about to go to school. I'm fin no, you need to be working while you're going to school then. Which I am, and it's hard to tell. You got to look at that debt that they're going to be in. Right. Yeah, and I, I think I just overall think like um at the age we are at as well, like it's things are so different, you know. Like it's it's very different. Very, very, very different. But I feel like when you over thirty, you dating with a purpose. We not dating to just say we dating anymore. I personally feel like if I meet a nigga today, well, let me stop using that word, but I personally feel like if I meet a young man today, I don't feel like it's a question I can ask too soon. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like if I was to meet somebody today or if somebody was to come and ask me today and be like, oh, okay, well, we finna go on day. I don't feel like there's nothing I can ask too soon. Do you want more kids? Do you not want more kids? You know, um, do you believe in marriage? Do you not believe in marriage? You know, um, all those type of things because maybe you want more kids. I know I don't want any more kids. You know, I know it's the rap for me. I'm I'm done with it. Ain't no ifs, ands, and buts about it. Maybe I want to be married. Maybe you have been married and divorced. Maybe you don't want to be married. We often, like, we too old to not be asking those questions because I don't want to waste my time. And I don't feel like I should have to. I mean, but then you got people dating on this app and they get on these apps and feel like they know a person just because somebody posted a picture. They post, they get a few likes. Nah, you know, I'm a person. I believe in energy. You get what I'm saying? So I believe I don't, it, it, that shit go deep for me. But that's why you ever had, I'm going to break it down to you because I don't know if you want to get, you know, all personal. Oh, it's all good. Oh, we chilling. We have a little bit. But, no, for real. You get the date. Okay, so you date somebody, right? Mm -hmm. Back in the day, you used to could, like this man was saying, like when you were oh, younger, you have to call the house and you have to say, hello, how Miss so and so? Can I speak to Utopia? Is she home? You know, or you have, you, it was just different levels to it. You have to walk, hold a girl book film and walk her to class and you know, do all type of stuff just before, you know, before you can even get a photo of a woman, a, a, a new photo, or you have to work hard before you got to for coochie back then, or got to a, a ass shot or a titty shot or whatever it is. Now you can get on Instagram and, and Facebook and see it for free. Times has changed. It definitely has changed. It, it's crazy. I mean, to each his own. Like I said, people get on this app and they feel like they know a person. A person uh, can share a picture. Then they get the liking. You get a couple likes. You get a couple comments. Next thing you know, y'all in the DM. Y'all don't even know each other for real. But then y'all end up fucking. Now, you got a baby by a motherfucker you barely even know. Because you on social media. You don't think what you like. Motherfuckers done linked up. And y'all don't even know each other's favorite color and shit for real. You get what I'm saying? But you ever had sex with a person that you had really felt was in love with is 10 times better because you in love with that person. Yeah. That's that energy shit I be talking about. The energy is different. Like, even as a grown-ass man, when the last time you could say that you had butterflies, nigga? Like, for real. When the last time you could say you had butterflies? Like, you actually talk to a girl and you got to smile because you sent the motherfucking name on your phone or text you and they put a smile on your face. It's been a it's been a minute. It's been a while. Okay, that's what I'm saying. People don't believe in that no more. They just scroll, do this right here. Look, shorty bad. They're gonna react to it. 
you know, she might, you might comment, she might react to your comment, next thing you know, it's a DM going on. You get what I'm saying? Like, people don't actually take the time to get to know each other no more. And hey, can I, and hey, can I say something? Very much so. Well, well, me personally, you know, I had just a lot of, a lot of women approach me in my, in my DMs because, you know, a lot of them be asking me for money. A lot of them, you know, go by, you know, my looks or they think I'm funny or they like my intelligence or whatever. But I'm very old school. You know, I was raised by a woman, like my mom, my sister and everything. So I am always have been in, in tune with y'all. I always pretty much been close with y'all. So back in school and everything, a lot of people used to think I was, funny you know I, I ain't gonna say what i want to say but I, a lot of people used to think i was flamboyant and this and that but it just i was so used to always being around women i have always connected and to me i feel like what guy want to hang around with a bunch of dudes all day like it's, it's, it's just it'd be too much competition it'd be too much envy too much showboating too much of his fake stuff and if anything like because to me, I feel like when it comes to us males who was raised with a single mother household and this and that, I feel like we don't get enough credit by understanding your struggle because we was that kid that we watched our mo mother struggle. and But a lot of mothers take that and think that we're supposed to take care of them when we, you know, on our own and, and this and that. And I feel like when it comes to us men and women and everything, I just think that we need to stop putting so much high expectations on each other. Cause we're human. We gonna, we gonna make mistakes. We gonna fail each other. But at the end of the day, we need, we need to understand like everybody made mistakes. Everybody made choices. Everybody made decisions. Right. And right. e e even as even as me doing this show and everything like that, people are, play so much on me in the beginning of the show and expect me to change, expect me to clean up my act. And I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but I always been an open book. I always been very authentic. You know, I always told people how 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 it was, but it just for your um perception what do women need to do when it comes to just the communication process um i'm guilty of this myself and i'm just gonna keep it real i feel like women we we expect men to know so much we get your attitude because we expect them to know and sometimes they don't know it's okay with telling them like this is what i want from you this is what i expect from you you know, like, there's nothing wrong with that. Now, I'm not saying you got to go into it and constantly repeat yourself and constantly, you know, like, at, at the end of the day, like, a man keep messing up and you constantly going back talking to him about the same shit. I'm not saying that. There is a totally different. I feel like if there's something that you feel like a man isn't doing or it's not making you happy or whatever the situation, talk to him. Communicate with him. Hey, I don't like this. This make me feel a certain type of way. Ain't nothing wrong with communicating that. Some people feel like I ain't about to do all that with a nigga and on to the next one. Like, there's nothing wrong with communicating with a person and telling them your likes, your dislikes. But that's the number, that's the number one thing that we are missing. Communication. Communication will forever be the lack in relationships. Like, not forever. Let me take that back. I'm sorry. It won't forever be the lack. I don't know about people relationships, but it's one of the main things people be lacking in relationships is communication. And ain't nothing wrong with communicating with your spouse. That's any relationship, though. Not just your spouse. In a friendship, in a relationship with your children, in a relationship, you know, things often get um, misled and confused. Communicate. Work relationships, all that, communicate. Everybody different, you know? I ain't gonna just, if, yeah, everybody different, but I just believe people should communicate with each other. Now, I'm not gonna get on here and act like I'm a relationship expert because I'm not. And if I was, I'd be in one.
<laughs> but <laughs> I'm just saying, like, for real, you know, everybody got their own situations. I'm just speaking from Utopia's point of view and my thoughts and my feelings. You know, I don't have it all figured out. And like I just said, for the people who may just tap in, I don't have a crappy pad of secret formula in my damn self. <laughs> you know, we are learning. Mm -hmm. For real. It don't come with a rule book. Life don't come with a rule book. We learn as we go. That's why they say with age come wisdom. You learn it as you go. Cool. But I feel like, yeah, people do need to communicate better. Just say what, what it is that you want. Say what it is that you don't want. What you don't like. And then go from there. Okay. Um, so what you think about domestic violence and what do you think about because I'm I'm finna flip the, the scenario. How do you respond to the woman being the abuser, being the provoker and, and this and that? Cause that's one sided. You gotta get control of your anger. I will say that women um have to get control of their anger because a woman can push a man to the point to where he'll put his hands on her. By any means, I don't feel like a man should be walking around here um hitting a woman, but it that comes with self control. I will say that. Um, you have to grow. The old and when I say that, I say that because the old me, if I probably was in a relationship back in the day, you probably caught me, what, 10 years ago, some shit like that. I'm pulling up. I'm acting a fool. I'm swinging. You know, or, you know, want to fight my dude in front of his friends and whoever else outside and, you know, all that extra shit. But the person I am today, I'm not going to do none of that shit. I'm not going to put my hands on him and nobody else. Like, for what? But that comes with growth. I'm not gonna say I ain't never did it. Yeah, I haven't showed out. Any, I done showed out. I mean, I, I done showed my natural black ass and should have been ashamed of myself. I ain't gonna even lie to you. But the person, the woman I am today, I, I can never. I can't find it in my spirit to do nothing like that. I mean, my thing is if somebody loves you and you got what, like, just leave it alone. If something is hurting you that bad, let it go. If you that upset and that mad and somebody pissing you off that bad some shit you gotta let go i'm at the space in my life with um if anything that that's costing me my peace is too expensive so i'm just cutting all ties with it i don't care if it's a friend that i've known 50 years i don't care if it's um a job that i've been at or on for years i don't care what relationship how, what it is like if it's costing you your peace of mind it's too expensive and let it go we get one life to live you gotta live the hell out that life we all out here on borrowed time. So anything that's not making you happy, that, it's that simple. Bye. Bye. It's, it's just too much. People dying out here from stress. Hell no. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, because I, I, you know, went through a lot myself. You know, I had to, I had to go through some things because I didn't have people that was no longer here to really give me advice and show me the way and pretty much, you know, tell me about red flags and, and seeing things before shits get real. I had to go through things by myself, but I wouldn't say that I was a bad person, but it's just everyone just expect everybody to be knowledgeable with everything. And we don't know everything and, and you're right. Things happen with age. Things happen with experience. Because I experienced shit that 40 and 50 year olds didn't experience. It. But it's just nice to know that you women enough to admit all that. These Some of these women act like they ain't did nothing. Like they squeaky clean. They, they slate clean. And, and they so wholesome and this and that. But I'm happy that you can admit that. Oh, you got to learn how to write your wrongs. I mean, it, like I said, at age don't make you grown either. Some people still out here, they may be 40 and still, you know, still learning in the learning process. My grandma always used to tell me age don't make you grown. When I say you just be, be you know, you've been through some things and you grow through it. It's just that simple. Everybody different, but I just grew through what I went through. Okay, so the when was the the transformation of you came about like what age mm, 
about 27. I would say about 27. <laughs> Same here. 27, 28. Huh? Same here. Same age. Yep, same here. About 27, 28. 27, 28 was the age for me. I was, um, ooh, I was pushed to the edge at that age. I'm not going to lie. I've been through I, that age. It, ooh, I, I ain't going to get on here and talk about that time. But, yeah, at that time, I really was going through some things. And the old me probably would have did a whole, uh, some things a lot differently. And I handle i feel like i handled the situation very well as well as i could so yeah because i start you know i start adding more credentials to my name and then it was like you got way more things to lose so i couldn't behave the way i used to behave you know what i'm saying like when you it's different like okay when you it's kind of like when you young and you get into a fight and you in high school, and they just put you on a 10-day suspension, you know, a five-day suspension, and then you get to come back to school, and you, you know, they give you another try or whatever, or the next school year, and um, Mr. Westbrook see me walking down the hallway, be like, okay, Bill, we're going to have a good year this year, and I'm like, yeah, okay, yeah, <laughs> but when you grown in the real world, nobody's doing that. You get in a fight in the real world, you liable to get charges pressed on you, you know what I'm saying? You liable to go to jail, you getting hit with a criminal record, there's nobody holding your hand no more. So it's like, okay, then you have children. Then that's also watching you and the way you react to certain situations. And you're going to forever be their first teacher. So it, the way they see you react to things, they're going to feel like that's the way they're supposed to react to things. So it's like, oh, okay, yeah, now I got to watch what I'm doing because I got not only my children watching me, but then you may be um, a, a mentor to a, a group of girls or whatever it is that you're doing that they're watching how you behave and how you conduct yourself. You know, I have a business now, so it's a lot of things that I can't be involved in or even do. Because, it, you know, it will affect my sales. It will affect my business. So it's just like, yeah, it'd be a time out for a lot of that stuff. And you have to talk with the woman in the mirror and the man in the mirror, and you be like, oh, yeah, you when you want different, you start to separate yourself. From a lot of BS, mm -hmm. and that's what happened. You just be like, oh, okay, brings me back to the same situation. Whether it's a relationship, whether it's a friendship, whatever type of ship it is, relationship it is, it's just gonna be like, oh, okay, well, now it's time for you know you want better, you know you want different, so you just move forward. Yeah, and that's what I did. Yeah, because you know I had to leave a lot of people alone who was on the same stuff and it was no beef and a lot of people think a, a, a exit or a departure like you beefing with a person but sometimes you just have to be done with people no hard feelings but i got a calling i got a purpose to fulfill and a lot of people that we hang with because me and my homeboy, we always have this discussion. Because a lot of people that we hang with won't let you be you. You got to be you. Some people that we love holding us back. Because you're doing you. They don't understand you. So, Amen. so you got to be you. Regardless of what people say and what people think. Because if a person loves you, they love you at your good, your bad, your ugly. Your worst, because loyalty shouldn't have no definition behind it. Then I look at it like this too. Like I can't. I feel like I'm at the age to where I should be able to sit down with someone. Say we get into an argument, right? I should be able to sit back and tell you how I feel and get that off my chest, and you tell me how you feel, and we can agree to disagree, and we can move past that. We can move forward. A lot of people don't understand that. Like, when you so mad and so angry at a person, you know how much energy that takes? Mm. To really dislike a person and to hate a person or be so angry with somebody versus just saying, okay, and, and keep it pushing. Like, it takes way more energy to be mad at somebody. It takes a lot more time to just be mad than to just say, you know what, I don't care. And to just keep it pushing and move forward. You're going to let somebody mess up your whole day because you mad. 
at what whatever it is that they did or that, that they did. So what? Move past it. But that take a lot of growth, though. It take a lot of growth. It ain't going to happen overnight. You got to be a different <laughs> type of a different type of individual to get past a lot of that stuff. Don't get it twisted. Like, it's a lot of stuff I let, I have let go. And they, when they say let, you know, you got to let go and let God, that is the truth. You really have to do that. Now, you can get pushed sometimes to where you have to let a person know, like, hold on now. Wait. Now, you ain't going to push me to the edge because you're going to get what you're looking for. But it's all about self-control. It's all about having self-control. Oh, absolutely. And also it's about, as well as setting boundaries, because I think that we have trouble setting boundaries sometimes. And there's nothing wrong with setting boundaries because I let a person know what line not to cross and keeps them in the safe zone. But a lot of times, mm -hmm when we fall out with a person, you know, we, we can't really get mad at them because we didn't set no boundaries. So I'm learning now that it's healthy to set boundaries just with anybody because this goes with self-care. This goes with self-love and self-preparation and everything like that because, you know, we just, because mm -hmm. we think that everybody is us and, and everybody is not you. And, and they're not. And they would never be you. It's one of those things where you gotta step. You gotta stop expecting you from people. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of people will complain about something. Um, for example, they'll be like, "Well, let's." Um, I did this for somebody, and when they did, you ever got into it with somebody, and they be like, "Well, I did this, this, and that for you." Mm -hmm. And you, when you do something for somebody, like now, I ain't gonna say I never did it. But the person I am today, it's like, okay, if I do something for somebody, it's because I love you or it's because I felt like doing it or I wanted to do it. I'm not looking for anything in return. Because when you do things like that, you end up hurting yourself. Mm -hmm. Do it because that's what you felt like doing. Do it because that's just what type of mood you was in or you felt like helping at the end of the day. But don't do it expecting anything. That's where we go wrong. A lot of people do things expecting things in return. Yeah. You're not going to get you from everybody. You're not going to get you from people. Yeah. Yeah. And also, I just feel like people do stuff for you so they can come back and throw it in your face as well. So, but there's also good, genuine and sincere people out here. Because I had a lot of people that did me favors and just did them out of kindness of their heart. And then I also had people who couldn't wait that I fuck up or couldn't wait till we got to a little um, misunderstanding to bring that back in my face. But the person that does that, they always forget what you done for them as well. It's a two-way street. See, them the type of people you got to stop associating yourself with, though. Them the type of people that you got to separate yourself from. You can have... We often think because we've been friends with people for so long, or we know people for so long that it's only right we keep those type of individuals in our life. And that's false. When I was young, I remember my grandmama telling me, like, you hang around them little girls, they fast, you gonna be fast, or thinking you gonna be just like them, and you know, you are who you hang around. And I'm like, no, I'm not. No, you know, and I used to get upset because she would really used to say that, but the older you get, you understand. Because, example, if you sit at the table with, five millionaires, what you think that you're going to end up becoming? They're going to mold you to be the six, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So say you have a millionaire mentality and you go sit around the table with with five people who just want to party, turn up, and just live their everyday life. They're going to encourage you to do the same. Don't, don't go to work, bro. We finna turn up tonight. You could do it later. Don't do this, bro. We finna do this. You could do that later. You get what I'm saying? So it's in a way, in a sense, it is. You are, you know, who you hang around, who you become. You know, that's just start separating yourself from those type of people because that you don't need that type of negativity in your life. And where you going, everybody can't go. You can't take everybody to the top with you. I had to learn that the hard way. Some people is content with what they're doing, and that's fine. But that don't mean, you know, you start when when you elevate in life, you start meeting 
people that's on the same thing that you are on or your interest starts to change you're not the same person that wants to turn up every day you're not the same person you used to be so you want to hang around people that your conversation is even different so you want to hang around like-minded individuals ain't nothing wrong with that no doubt you know and everybody who have met me and everything or even came over and did an interview with me. I always make sure I give them something before they leave out the door. Whether if it's a book or a hat, hug, or just any 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 time you need to talk. You know, because I really haven't put everything out like that, but but if I care about you, if I love you, I gonna want the best for you. I'm gonna put you on to something new, whether if it's education or a plan or just some advice and everything like that. Cause I feel like, you know, we all need to help each other. We all need to, you know, water each other's seeds. So, cause I never saw a butterfly wanted to go back to being a caterpillar. Okay. You better say, it. you better say, it. and you, you are definitely right. I would have to agree. You are definitely right. So, What's your message to these young girls out here who doing all this internet prostitution? That's exactly what it is. There ain't no hustle and no, like they got lemonade stands and selling Girl Scout cookies and everything like that. So what's your message to them? So the ones that send the Girl Scout cookies <laughs> and lemonade stands, like my thing to them is like keep pushing you know keep you heading in the right direction you know you're doing something great keep you know being you and i support them so the ones that's out here going in the wrong direction they still have a chance you know um don't think you ain't cool because you ain't got no car seat in your car don't think you ain't cool because you ain't being grown and you ain't out here shaking your ass and you know um you might be the unpopular girl right now because you doing unpopular shit you gonna be popping when you leave. You know how many girls when we was in school that was um, in sports doing things or wasn't popular. Them bitches was slapping out. Them bitches is where it's at. So it's like, just you know, keep doing you. So the ones that's heading the wrong direction, baby, you still got time. Get your head on straight. It ain't never too late. Um, so the ones that's doing good, keep pushing, keep doing you, and don't give up. That's all I can tell them. Like, don't give up. And, and all, oh yeah, ladies, always remember that you are queens. Y'all can do whatever you, you set your mind to. And, and, and to my fellas, man, like, you know, we we got we got some errors that we need to fix. You know, I ain't gonna throw y'all under the bus or anything like that. Cause I'm working on myself. I'm improving on myself. So before I can tell y'all anything, I have to make sure that I have some results as well. So. You have any final thoughts before we wrap this up? I have no final thoughts. <laughs> well, I would say to everybody that was watching, everybody who tuned in, I just want to say, you know, thank y'all for supporting me. Thank y'all for whatever y'all do and taking the time to listen to both of us tonight. And it will be some future episodes. And I would love to have you back one of these days. Too. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and we all we got you know we we can't do we can't do this all by ourselves you know what i'm saying like because it's always like i said it's always somebody want to be right but nobody wants to listen nobody wants to grow nobody wants to improve but we are still young we all figuring it out and we need to come together amen but that well thanks for having me Oh, no problem, man. Like, I really learned so much, you know, like, <laughs> like you, like, really, like, no, real talk, like, you'd be surprised what someone's story or someone's perception can uplift another individual, like, because, like I said, this blue app, man, a lot of people be capping, like, take the mask off sometimes and be yourself. That's it. Be yourself. Like who you but then they it's like it gets to the point to where it's like, okay, who you trying to impress? You trying to impress me or you trying to impress yourself? 
So I'm just trying to, my only competition is my old self. That's it. As it should be. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's right. But yeah, thank you um, for coming on the show and thank you all for watching. That includes this interview. Everyone have a good night. Bye.